Welcome to SPFL Extra, this week from the Scottish League Cup Final. In this week's show, top five goals from the weekend. We discuss the best and worst haircuts in Scottish football. And we look back on last week's topic, which was the worst misses you've seen. I'll be here every Monday with the best chat about Scottish football on YouTube. Now this week's topic is inspired by Stevie May with his new haircut. Don't know if you saw it, but he finally cut the main. Um, but unlike Sampson, his powers remain intact. He scored against Dundee United on Wednesday. We want to know what the best and worst hairstyles you've seen in Scottish football. Some of the iconic ones that spring to mind are obviously Henry Clarkson's dreadlocks or Paul Gascoigne's put upside blonde hair. But even like Hibbs cult hero Jimmy Boko's dreadlocks, I mean, there's so many to choose from. There's even closer to home guys like James McFadden. He had a few odd ones, whether it be the rat tail that he had going on or the Lundberg inspired Red Mohican. Um, he doesn't have that much hair left now, but back then he was very experimental with his do's. Let us know what you think are the best and worst haircuts by commenting below, as always. And remember, we'll use the best chat in next week's show. Last week, we asked you what was the worst miss that you've seen at a game. And those of you got back in touch, so thank you. Campbell Brown referred to Bob McHugh's miss from Motherwell against the Hibs when it's basically going along the byline and he can't get a foot on it. Derby days seem to bring up memories of some bad misses for quite a lot of you. Um, Aidan Lynn was talking about Ryan Stevenson's miss from the New Year Derby in 2013 uh, at Tyne Castle for Hearts against Hibs. There was uh, Jamie Wood, he was talking about Andrew Finney's miss for Inverness against St Mirren. This week's comment of the week winner is an average sort of guy. I picked him partly because of his comment. Um, Michael Garding's miss that he chose for Dundee United was spectacularly uh, bad. We're also concerned about your well-being, mate. Why are you calling yourself an average sort of guy? Online is your opportunity to be someone that, you know, you're not in real life, you know, like in Catfish. Or, you know, you can just, you know, be yourself or be the best you can be. So we're quite concerned that you call yourself an average sort of guy. Um, hopefully we can cheer you up with a copy of Football Manager. Uh, we'll be in touch with you for that. But um, yeah, cheer up. <laughs> also on last week's show, Anthony Murray commented saying that I'm struggling to talk and breathe at the same time. Uh, that's fair enough. Two things, multitasking is tough. And second of all, I've got asthma. So I hope you feel really bad about yourself now. Now it's time for my top five goals from the weekend. And number five is Paul McGowan's header for St Mirren against Dundee United. It's made it into my top five purely because you don't really associate Paul McGowan with scoring headers, he's, he's not the tallest of players. Uh, but he takes it really well um, and leaves Radoslav Szczesniak right to his spot. And number four is Melvin DeLeo's goal for Ross County in the evening kickoff against St Johnston. What I really like about this goal is that his first touch completely sells the defender and then fires it past Manus, leaving him no chance really. At number three for me is Chris Commons' third goal against Kilmarnock on Friday night for Celtic. What I like about it is it's from about 25 yards out and it doesn't look like it's going to cause Sampson any danger to be honest. Uh, but it just nestles into the bottom corner and it's, it's a great goal. <laughs> it's had a great season so far. Number two is Chris Erskine's strike for Partick Thistle against Hibs on Saturday. What I like about this goal is that it's very much a team move. It starts off with Calm with a K Higginbottom dribbling past a few Hibs players. He finds it out wide to Lyle Taylor. His low cross is brilliantly dummied by Chris Doolan, tees up Erskine, who just absolutely wallops it past Ben Williams. My favourite goal this weekend is Stuart Armstrong's strike for Dundee United against St Mirren. It reminded me a lot of Wayne Rooney's goal for Man United against Crystal Palace, I think it was, a few weeks ago, when he essentially just side-foots the ball on the volley into the top corner. It was a great strike and it was part of a tremendous comeback by United, who with 10 minutes to go were 2-0 down, but somehow managed to win 3-2. Remember to subscribe to SPFL's YouTube channel here for loads of great things. Goals, Monday you'll have me if you want, uh, Wednesday top fives and Thursdays for classic matches. That's all for this week's SPFL Extra. Sadly, we filmed this before the cup final started, so we actually don't know who's won. But either way, well done to Aberdeen or Inverness Caledonian Thistle. Until next week, take care.